Andrew checking in this week and I want to go over some pace to play pointers while you're out here on the golf course. So I'm on hole 15 on the tee and one thing to take note when you're on the tee box, especially if you're playing with a foursome, uh, is play, play ready golf. So what that means is whenever whoever's ready first, come up, tee it, uh, probably take you know one practice swing, make sure you have your routine down so you can get through it quickly. And then if you're not first up, you know, be, be ready when it is your turn. So with that said, have the shot in mind when you get up to the tee, what you're gonna hit. Um, go through, you know, this isn't, you don't wanna rush when you're up here, but you wanna go through your, your practice routine. And for me, you know, take one, one practice swing, um, get your line and go ahead and rip it. And then after that, pick up your tee, everybody else hit the route here on our second shot on this par five. First and foremost, you wanna take, uh, drop the golfer off to his ball first, whoever's up next or farthest out so that they can get their yardage, um, get situated, and then you can drive over to wherever your ball was, especially if you're on opposite sides of the fairway. That'll save you a little bit of time. That person hits, then you hit, and then you can meet in the middle and pick them up and go on your way. Uh, one thing to take note, if, if you are um, on a par five and if, if you have the firepower to get there and you have to wait, maybe go to the person's ball that could be ahead of you if they're gonna lay up. That also will save you a little bit of time. So in this scenario, I'm ready to go. The green is clear. I've already processed after I left the tee what kind of shot I was gonna hit because I knew the vicinity of the where I was in the fairway. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit my golf shot. Now one thing you want to do, and I promise it won't slow you down, is fill in your divots. So you don't have to rush again, but make sure if you take a divot, take care of the golf course, leave it a little bit better than you found it, and that'll help. All right, now that we're up here on the green, hitting our third shot, uh, my ball actually didn't stay on the green. Now just because the ball is not on the green doesn't mean it didn't leave a mark. So I have the quarter ball uh, divot repair tool that I got at the starter podium. I want to make sure I fix my my ball mark before anything, and then I'm gonna head down and hit my shot. So for pace of play, um, I, I would be the farthest out off the green. So I'm just gonna go through my pre-shot routine and not rush, but just make sure I'm doing it efficiently so I you know, save as much time as possible. So I'm gonna take a couple little practice chips here and go through and hit the shot. Now that I've hit the, the golf shot, I'm gonna go up and we're, we're pretending that I'm in a, in a foursome here. So what you wanna do when you get on the green is make sure, make sure you read your putts. You don't wanna rush through this process. So go around, make sure you get your read and make sure you start your process while someone else is putting. The worst thing that we can do and it'll it waste a lot of time is when someone else is putting, you wait for them to finish to then go around and get the read of your putt. So make sure you start that process early. If you see any, any Ball marks around the green, make sure we're fixing those, um, leaving the green better than we found it. And I, now that I'm up here uh, about to make my putt, I'm just gonna go through the process to help save you some time when you're on the green. So obviously I'm gonna mark my ball uh, while someone else, like I said, while they're gonna putt, I'm just gonna go ahead and get one, you know, get a look on both sides of the, the cup here to make sure I know which way it's gonna break. And and this doesn't this doesn't waste any time if you're just if you're doing it efficiently while someone else is putting. You can go through this whole process and uh, be efficient and actually save time so you're ready to go when it is your turn to putt. So now, uh, leaving the flag stick in per COVID regulations and uh, getting my read and sticking with it and making the putt. After you make your putt, take it out. And as we re recall that I was off the green, so I left my, my wedge and my putter cover in an area that I have to walk to to get before I get back to my golf cart. That again, it's gonna save you just a few seconds of time on the green and make sure you don't leave any clubs out on the putting green. Thanks for watching this week and hope you all have a great weekend and see you out here.